who is coming into Port of London headquarters today, number two. A houseboat owner called Susan, she wants to complain about us, Captain. Ha, 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 not another one, okay let's get her, in here. I have been playing the Port of London's Riverworks licensed for the last 20 years. Why have you now increased it by over 500%? And as I am a residential boat owner I already pay my council tax. We have reinterpreted our powers and we will now charge you what we think is fair. We are going to adopt the same type of regulations they use on the canals. We don't care if it's a tidal river. Yes Captain, the Port of London powers were granted by Parliament. That means it is illegal not to pay. Even though you paid for your own river works, the only thing we do is to grant you a license for them. But the price has never been that high, and you normally only increase it by the rate of inflation. I am going to complain to the government ombudsman. Your Parliament Act was only granted for controlling navigation. We are not accountable to those people. There is no effective way of complaining without spending a considerable amount of time and money. That's right Captain, you only have two choices either a judicial review in the High Court and you must pay for that action. Or you go to arbitration, you also pay but it's only 20,000 a day, we like arbitration. The rules say you must compromise, so normally we expect at least a 300% increase in your fees, not as good as 600% but we'll take what we can get. Then I will complain to the GLA and my local council. We have lots of contacts and friends in those organizations we spent many years cultivating the way they think. They always get in touch with us first when anything comes up about the river, so we can be ready to manipulate the situation. That's right Captain, we know people in every authority associated with the river, nothing can happen without our approval. Which is great news for the honorable company of lighter men and water men. It looks like I'm going to have to pay your extortionate fees, I will now have to rent out a part of my boat to help make the payments. Under our new license rules, we get 20% of any business on the river, so we are very happy if you rent out your boat. So, you're now forcing me to sell my boat. Our new powers also mean that if anyone sells a boat of the river aims we get 20% of the sale price. Well you people are like a bunch of vultures, at least I own a freehold mooring so I should get a good price. We are registering all the riverbed with the land registry in our name, so your freehold is pretty worthless. That's right Captain we have pretty much completed this task, without too much trouble. Our policy of not informing anyone, has worked very well, and our friends in the land registry didn't even question it. Why are you doing this to me? We're doing it to all the houseboats on the river, it's going to be our new cash, cow. That's right Captain, the commercial trade has depreciated over the years, and now we are even struggling to pay our in-house pension fund, so the houseboat owners must pay. Then I will go to the press and expose your outrageous behavior. We are the Port of London Authority, we have a coat of arms, and an act of parliament. We wear a uniform that makes us look like airline pilots. And we have the word authority, in our title. The media think we are like the Royal Navy, har har, we are untouchable. Then I will organize the other houseboat owners to take legal action against you. I don't think it's a problem Captain, we have secret, third party companies, who want to develop all the moorings they can get their hands on, then turn them into extortionate money making machines. So we can draw things out until Susan and her friends run out of money and give up. It is very easy for us to legally drag things out, by curating our own in-house bureaucratic, can of worms. After all we're already making it up as we go along. Don't worry about people like her. Now Susan shut the door on your way out, you can bend over for me later. There have been many communities living on boats for hundreds of years on the River Thames. The Port of London Authority wants to change that forever, so only people that can afford outrageous fees, will be able to live on the river, and what will you get from the Port Authority if you pay those fees? Absolutely nothing that is useful to either you or your boat, they have already infiltrated the council planning departments on the river, you try applying for permission for a houseboat and see where, it gets you, please give your support where you can. We must come together to protect communities from corrupt, 
and incompetent, authorities. Next time they might be coming for you, thanks for watching and remember, everyone has a right to use the, tidal waters of the Thames. <laughs>